All right, so we're gonna assume that you've already configured the storage device on the network, that it's available on the network, that it's got an IP address, it's available uh, via a host name. So we're gonna open up a web browser and connect into the backend storage device itself via the IP address. So right from the uh, the Unisphere portal, accessed via the web browser, you can actually go and uh, restart the storage processes from your Unity SAN. Um, sometimes the storage processor may be having problems. It may require a reboot. Perhaps you've installed something new onto it requiring a reboot, or perhaps it's frozen. So under the System Service Service Tasks tab up the top, you can go and restart a uh, storage processor. There are a few other areas in here, but you'll see that the first section here is your storage system as a whole. So this is the entire SAN. You can go ahead here and just shut down the entire SAN if you really wanted to. Um, the storage processor sections are down the bottom. You'll see that it's broken down into storage processor A, storage processor B, giving you an indication that storage processor A is the primary, okay? So as long as you are aware of that, uh, and you've organized some sort of an outage to make sure that things are operating okay. You can select any of these two storage processes and you've got an area right here that says reboot. That it does give you a bit of a warning, just letting you know that, um, you know, a caution that during the reboot, the storage processor stops the IO services to host. Um, so just be aware that if you're doing this, there could be small outages, uh, minimal outages while the resources are swapping from one storage processor to the other. Uh, alternatively, you can add the storage processor into service mode first before you reboot it. But re literally you go into here, select reboot, and then select execute, and then the process will go ahead. That storage processor will go shut down, reboot, and then start up again, and then you should be good to go once that is done. So there you have it, that is my overview. I hope you found this helpful. There's definitely a lot of stuff that uh, you can go into on the storage device. If you want to know more, let me know. We've also got a whole bunch of other videos that talk about SAN and NASAs um, of various types and the different technologies associated with those, as well as a whole bunch of other technology videos across my Digital Bike Computing YouTube channel. Either way, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me as well to keep updated on my new videos as they get released. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.